A Punnett square is kind of like a multiplication table. It helps us understand the way in which alleles are passed on from one parent to the offspring. And it gives us a chance to understand probability. What are the chances of an offspring getting a certain characteristic? Sometimes you might look in the mirror and think, well, why do I look more like my dad or more like my mom? Or why do I have certain characteristics? And we can kind of calculate the probability for many of those. So we take a Punnett square and we put one parent's alleles up here and one parent's over here. This is the most basic Punnett square. It's looking at only one type of characteristic and it's used to look at a characteristic that has only two forms, such as purple flowers or white flowers, round seeds or wrinkled seeds, or even something like your earlobes. You have dangling earlobes or attached earlobes, or the ability to roll your tongue, taco tongue. Okay, those are all two form characteristics. So if we think to Mendel's first cross, he had a true breeding purple plant. We're going to use the letter P to represent purple since we happen to know it's dominant. Since white was recessive, then we use a lowercase p to represent the true breeding white plant. And as you can see, just like a multiplication table, imagine if this was the number two and this was the number four, this box would be two times four. So we just simply take the alleles and we move them into the boxes. Okay. Remember, no matter what, this is a probability table. So the parent number two, or the mom in this case, who had the white characteristics is only passing on white DNA to the offspring. The male flower, the true breeding purple, is only passing on purple. So as you can see, no matter what, the offspring we're going to get a purple allele and a white allele. They all came out the same. And as Mendel found out, they all came out purple but they were carrying the white. Remember that purple is dominant, so it masks the white. Since each box represents a 25% chance, then we can see that 100% of the offspring were going to come out purple. So in class, I would have you fill out a Punnett square, and I'm just gonna walk you through this. Remember, Mendel's first cross was a true breeding purple plant with a true breeding white plant. So we fill out the Punnett square with the purple parent and the white parent. We drag the alleles down and we find out that four out of four of them come out purple. So new word coming up here, the outside appearance is called phenotype. So phenotype would be purple or white, round seeds or wrinkled dangling earlobes or attached earlobes. When we look at the actual combination of alleles, that's called the genotype. So capital P, lowercase p is a genotype. Capital P, capital P is a genotype. Lowercase p, lowercase p is a genotype. In this particular cross, they all happen to come out capital P, lowercase p. So four out of the four offspring, or 100% of the offspring, have the exact same genotype. 